My name is Antonio Lain and I'm the founder of CapJS Labs. Telemedicine is here to stay and, and today it is really easy to video conference with your doctor at almost any time. But what is not that easy is to share in real time your current vital signs with your doctor so that she can make an accurate diagnostic. And that's a shame because a new generation of cheap medical devices, which you can have at home, could save you many trips to see the doctor. Today I'm going to show you a web app written in JavaScript and using the CapJS framework to share a live electrocardiogram with your doctor. There is no setup, no app installed, you just need a browser. It uses a healthy pie, a cheap device that provides basic vital signs through a Bluetooth interface. And I have connected to my body these three electrodes so you are going to see my heart in action in a moment. What you see on the left panel is just the display of my phone exported through the USB interface, as you can see here. And in a moment, I will show you on the right a Chrome browser window that runs in my laptop. That's the remote doctor's laptop. The first thing we do is to start the scanning process to find the healthy Pi using the web Bluetooth API. We find healthy Pi and pair with it. Now we confirm and now we are already connected to the healthy Pi. And we can check the state just simply by creating a user view. And that's my heart. But what is a bit more interesting is to be able to share that information with the doctor. So I just have to email to my doctor that very long URL that will give access to the device remotely. So what I will do is now I switch to my email and there is a new URL and, and when the doctor clicks on it, it will connect and you will see my heart in real time. What about security? The URL contains a short-lived cred credential so that only the doctor can connect. And in any case, I could revoke access at any time too. If you want to learn more about KBS, here is our website and the app is also in GitHub. Thank you for listening.